Hey everyone, this is DW96 from GroovyPost.com and today I'm going to show you how you can use color replacement in Adobe Photoshop. So go ahead by opening up a document in Photoshop. So I'm going to use a PSD here but uh, using any JPEG or PNG for example is just fine. Um, and you're going to have to begin of course by uh, selecting the area of which you want to change the color. So if it's a single shaded color, um, you're just fine using the uh, quick selection tool or the lasso, rectangular marquee, whatever fits your style the best. But you're definitely going to encounter a lot of problems uh, because selections are quite messy to work with. So what I would highly recommend is that you go to this small icon right here below, which is the quick mask mode. And when you press this, uh, you all you got to do is get a brush tool and uh, you just got to start painting over the parts of the image which uh, you don't want to be included in your selection. So I'm just going to do this roughly just to show you as an example like so. Uh, then I'm going to exit out of the quick mask mode by pressing the button again and you can see what I did not paint in red was included in my selection. So this is a very very uh, good way to select things because you don't have to deal with messy selections and uh, if you paint over the wrong part you can always just stop and grab the eraser tool and wipe out something that didn't go so right. Um, Alright, so that's about it uh, with the selections. Now let's, uh, I'm going to load up my selection here, I already pre-made one and uh, let me start explaining the different ways in which you can change colors so if you're in a newer version of Photoshop uh, for example like in Photoshop CS4 or CS5 here's the best method for you um, first of all make sure that your adjustments layer is enabled adjustments panel actually go to window and uh, make sure that the adjustments panel is checked so click on that and it'll show up right over here so after you've made your selection, make sure you have an active selection. Click on the hue saturation icon and a few sliders are going to appear. So as you begin to drag these sliders, for example the hue, you can see I'm changing the color really well. You can also adjust the saturation and the lightness. Um, so what I like about this method is, uh, for example, if I go back and uh, do any kind of changes to the image, uh, the hue and saturation adjustment layer is still going to be right where I left it. So if I decide that um, this purple color here isn't what I'm looking for, I can always go back and uh, adjust this to something that fits my knees a little bit better. So I really like this. Uh, no slowdowns and no having to go to the history. It's a very good method for newer versions of Photoshop. Alright, so now let me drag this layer to the trash icon. Let me reload my selection and then I'm going to show you a second method. Now this is for the older versions of Photoshop. You're going to go to Image, Adjustments and you're going to go to Hue Saturation. And uh, here you're going to see the sliders that you saw in the Hue Saturation Adjustment layer again. Uh, what the difference is here is that once you have made your changes, uh, there's pretty much no going back if you do any other changes to the image. You have to lose all that in order to change the color. So that's not so good, but uh, for older versions of Photoshop, this is perhaps the only way to go. Um, also, I think I should mention uh, the little colorized checkbox at the bottom. If you check the colorized checkbox, um, the color that you're picking up at the hue slider, for example, here's green, uh, is going to be the applied color to your actual selection. So here's green, here's uh, this dark orange, here's blue. You get the idea. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, now I'm going to click cancel though, and I'm going to keep this selection. Uh, and I'm going to show you the last way um, of changing the color in uh, older versions of Photoshop. So create a new layer and make sure you have an active selection and then just uh, pick any sort of foreground color. Um, now I'm going to go with this light blue here. Uh, then get a brush and just paint over the entire area or of course you can just right click your selection, pick fill and from the use drop down menu select foreground color 
now you're free to deselect and now you can simply pick a different blending mode for your layer so here's dissolve and uh, here we get to the more interesting ones like darken multiply color burn and there are a lot of uh, different layer overlay options so take a look at them see if one of them fits your style uh, here's my favorite which is subtract uh, gives the color a very decent red look so here's the original and here's with the adjustment layer you can see that's much much better uh, so take a look at this option too and uh, see which one you like. Now thanks for watching this tutorial. There are lots more over at GroovyPost.com and we're going to see you next time.